Let's solve Hello, It's Me from CS50. This is in problem set one. Okay, let's dive in. Let's go to the problem, Hello, It's Me. So here's the problem to solve. In a file called hello.c in a folder called me, implement a program in C that prompts the user for their name and then says hello to that user. So for instance, if the user's name is Adele, your program should print hello Adele. Okay, let's jump into writing our code. Let's go to cs50.dev. Okay, if you haven't authorized GitHub and logged in yet, do so now. Okay, so now we're in Visual Studio Code in the browser. You can also walk through this problem locally. That is, if you have Visual Studio Code downloaded locally on your computer, you can follow along there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a folder and we're going to call it me. And we're really just getting this from the instructions. Next up, we are going to create our file called hello.c. So inside of me, we can say hello.c. And this file is where we'll be writing our code. Okay, so next up, we want to use the CS50 library. Now the CS50 library is a helper library and it has functions in it that we can use in our code. But in order to use those functions, we need to require that library or include that library into our file right here. So let's do that. Okay, so let's go to cs50.readthedocs and we want to look for the library that we want. So we want the CS50 library right here. So let's click on this. And we want the C one right now because we are going to be writing some C. And next up, let's just go down here where it says download the latest release. And from here we can just hit source code. All right, so you should see this downloading. Okay, once this folder is open locally on your machine, you can go into SRC and we can basically just copy these two files and then we can put them into our folder me. If you're using VS Code or your text editor of choice locally, you can just put these uh, in your VS Code locally. And if you are using this code space here, we can really just drag these over and put them into our me folder. Okay, so now let's go back to our problem. So we see that we need to prompt the user for their name and then we need to say hello to that user using their name. Here is a quick demo of what the code once it's finished should look like. So we run make hello and then we run dot slash hello. And you might be wondering what this make is. Uh, the instructor does mention it in the course, but it's essentially a build tool. So when we run make hello, we are compiling our file. And then here we are running the file or executing the file when we say dot slash hello. And then we run the executable. So we get an executable file that we can execute. Okay, let's go back and actually start writing some code. First, we're going to include this library, which will give us access to things like the print function. And then we're going to include the CSS 50 library. Okay, cool. Next, let's work on creating our function. So we can say int main, and then next we are going to use the string data type that we get from the CS50 library. We'll say string, and then this is the data type. Now we need a name for our variable. So we'll say name, and then we'll say get string. So this is a CS50 function. Inside of get string, we are going to write out the prompt we want the user to see. So we'll say, what is your name? We'll also use a slash n, which adds a new line in the program. And we can't forget our curly bracket at the end. Okay, let's pause real quick and let's run this code and just see how it's working so far. So we're going to cd into me or go into this folder. And then we're going to run make hello. Okay, now we can see when we say ls, we can now see we have this hello file that we can execute. So if we wanna run our code, we're going to say dot slash hello. Okay, awesome. So we are getting this, what is your name prompt? Uh, this is amazing. So get string will actually allow us to enter in the string that we want, but we have no way of printing it. So right now we can enter in uh, Madison, my name, but nothing shows up on the screen. The problem is not complete, because we haven't printed this information back to the screen. So we have, of course, this input right here, but we don't have the output saying, hello, Madison. So let's add to that. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is now simply print the screen. So we're going to say print f. Now this is a function that we get access to by including this library here. And then we're going to use parentheses and we're going to say hello. And then we are going to add a s because we are printing a string. So this is the format specifier telling us the type that we're printing. And then we need to add one more space here because we want a space between hello and the name. And then we are going to write name. 
So we're going to be printing hello, the string, along with the name that the user has just given us. And this is wrong. Okay, so let's save that and then run our code again. Okay, so if we run dot slash hello, we can say, what is your name? And then run Madison. And we see that we are not getting anything printed out to the screen. Uh, why is this? This is because we haven't compiled our code again. So this executable file is just the same old file. So we need to run make hello. And now we've compiled our file again, and now we should get the printed name. So we'll say Madison, and then we'll hit enter, and then we can see hello Madison. Okay, before we go on, let's take a quick break, and I want to talk about Brilliant. Brilliant is an amazing learning platform that I've been using for a couple of years now. Recently, Brilliant reached out to me about sharing my honest review of them, and I was pretty excited because I have been a student of Brilliant for a long time now. What I love about Brilliant is that their program is incredibly interactive. I've taken so many tutorials where you just watch this three hour coding tutorial and then by the end of it you didn't actually build anything. What I love about Brilliant is that it's very active learning. So for every Brilliant course that I've taken so far you are actively completing problems, going through diagrams, you are actively learning and building the whole time. One of my favorite programs that Brilliant has to offer is their program on computer science and it has a bit of logic in there. It's all about how computer think and understanding the decisions that computers make. I really love the interactivity of this course and also the focus on logic and understanding the fundamentals of computer science, which is something that I don't really see very often in courses today. You can try out Brilliant for free for 30 days and you can sign up using the link brilliant.org slash Madison Canna. If you sign up with this link, you will get 20% off your plan. Okay, let's get back to our problem. So we've successfully completed this problem Problem, but there is one more thing that you might notice. When we printed out Hello Madison, um, our directory was right next to it. Like this doesn't look great. We basically need to say, hey, we need a new line. And previously we added a new line by saying slash n. So let's go and do that up here. So right before our s, our format specifier, let's say slash n. Okay, so we need to go back. We need to run make hello again and then we'll run our executable file. We'll say, what is your name? Let's switch it up and say Adele. And then here we print, hello Adele, and we have this new line. Now, one thing that has confused me is this slash n, like why is this, hey, I want a new line. Why is this not at the end? Like, why is this not here after name? It kind of looks like this slash n is in the middle, but this is all in one line. But it's good to keep in mind that this n is not actually in the middle. It's at the end of the format specifier. So all this is saying is, hey, this s right here, printf, needs to insert the value of name wherever s is, and then add a new line after. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to check this problem. So let's check this problem using CheckCS50 and see if we did it correctly. The instructions for how to test a problem are here. So Check50 is a tool for checking student code. So you can see if your code passes or fails by using this. Okay, so let's check our code. We're gonna say Check50 and then we're gonna say CS50 problems and then we're going to go into the problem. So 2024 spring and then we'll say slash me. If you did the hello world problem previously, then you would say slash world. Here we're going to say me and this matches the folder that they told us to create back over here. Okay, now let's run this code. Okay, here we are connecting, verifying, uploading. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's taking forever waiting for results. Okay, what if this is just all wrong and it fails? <laughs> Did fail. Okay, this is not so bad. So we can see response to name Mario. We saw expected hello Mario and we did not expect hello Mario slash n. So a problem here is just a quick little capitalization problem. So this is what we expected with the lowercase and we got an uppercase problem. So let's change this real quick. Uh, we can hit save. We need to compile our program again. We need to run slash hello. Um, let's just test it out now. Okay, so this is lowercase. Now let's run this check command again. Hopefully we have more luck. Waiting for results, waiting for results. Hello darkness, my old friend. I think we have an extra space here. Let's try that. Yes, we did it. Woo! Finally. All right. 
All right, now we have completed and successfully checked the problem. Perfect. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching.